calls you in here is I want to brief you on a mission that is a little out of the ordinary. This comes all the way from Washington, and I have assured the Admiral of our full cooperation. <laughs> well, I bet it's a combat mission. Bye, 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 bye. Uh, nothing, nothing, sir. Go right ahead, go right ahead. I have every intention of going right ahead, Mikhail, if you'll stop mumbling. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, Carpenter, you and Mikhail have the only two PT boats that are in shape to go out, so it'll have to be one of you. Sir, if you don't mind, I'd like to volunteer. Ah, uh, nice going there, Copy, but uh, this combat mission belongs to us. That's right, sir. Remember, we're the ones who rescued that bomber crew. <laughs> All that does not alter the fact, Mikhail, that you have the sloppiest, most disorganized, slipshod, wholly unmilitary craft in the entire South Pacific. How about that? We'll finally make a name for ourselves. <laughs> yeah, dear, we'll get about it. Yes, sir. <laughs> about the mission, sir. Oh, yes. <clears throat> it's top level. Really top level. The Office of War Information is sending an important war correspondent out here. Going to do a story on PT boats, pictures, how you operate at sea. That crummy sightseeing cruise. Copy, you can have it. Don't interrupt me and watch your language. Yes, sir. Sir, in light of Commander McHale's heroic rescue of that bomber crew, I request permission to withdraw from any consideration from this mission. Oh, no, you don't. Captain, if pictures of my disorganized, slipshod, sloppy boat get back to the States, why, why don't you just wreck the whole front? Yes, sir. Well, you know, though, Skip, if we scrubbed ours down a bit, I... Have you lost the feeling, uh... <laughs> yeah. I really am surprised at you, men. You would think with all the time that you have spent in these islands that you would welcome the opportunity to have an American woman aboard. A dame? A woman? Yes, sir, I request permission to withdraw my request for permission to withdraw from this mission, sir. Uh, well, well, Captain, uh, my boat isn't really sloppy, sir. It's just got that lived-in look. Yes, sir, I think an assignment like this, you need a man of my caliber who can go out and show the people that this is the kind of man I have. You two men will have your ships ready for inspection the first thing in the morning. Yes, sir. Uh, the crew that makes the best showing will have the honor of being the host for the correspondent, Miss, uh, uh, Brent. Patricia Brent? You know her? Uh, we, we've met. Good afternoon, my dear. Welcome to World War II. <laughs> Thank you. Were you headed anywhere special, or are you here to brighten up the day for the enlisted man? Well, as a matter of fact, I was on my way to the ship's store to pick up a package. Oh? Well, step out of that uh, tired, tropical, beastly sun. We can't have that freckling up that adorable nose. Now, about that package. Well, it's a carton of film for Miss Patricia Brent of World Photos. Miss Patricia Brent, right? Right. I'll be back before you can say, Torpedo Man Lester Gruber, I love you. <laughs> Good afternoon, my dear. Good afternoon, Captain. How are you? Fine. Good, good. You're finding your way around all right. Yes. Here you are, Angel. Now, I know a beach we can be alone. Just you and me and the captain? <laughs> Stop that, Sammy. What's the matter with you? My jeep is right over here, my dear. I... Hey, aren't you one of McHale's pirates? Get back to your island. Goodbye, Gruber. And thank you. <laughs> ah, come on, you guys. Haven't you ever seen an officer pull right before? Hey, Groove, did you get us? Oh, oh, okay, you guys, stop shooting the breeze. We got work to do. Where are the mops, the rags, the buckets? What do you want with the mops? What's the matter? We're going to have a big inspection tomorrow. It's your oh, no, there must right? be some mistake. Ah, oh, this inspection's going to be worthwhile. You know what we get if we win? A dame! <laughs> <laughs> A gorgeous newspaper gal by the name of Patricia Brent. And she's nuts about me. You should have heard her. She called me Gruber. A dame war correspondent? Yeah, I'm built like a battleship. Well, I'd settle for a cruiser myself. Okay, okay. What gives? 
Well, I got the poop from Binghamton's Jeep driver. This inspection's a contest between us and Carpenter's boat. Whoever wins gets this down for a full week. No contest! <laughs> Let's not just stand around, fellas. Get going. Get the red! <laughs> Them blue blazers going on here. I heard about the inspection, Skipper. We want to get a head start. The winner of the show, that carpenter. The winner to walk. Come on, you guys. Down, down, boys. Down. Nothing. What's the idea, Skip? We got a lot of cleaning to do. Oh, no. There's nobody cleaning anything. Not on board my ship, you don't. Well, then how are we going to win the inspection? Well, that's just the whole point, you happy little bunch of homemakers. This is one inspection we're going to make sure we lose. But Gruber said she was gorgeous. Oh, Gruber, boy. You've been out here too long, buddy. Take my word for it. I've seen this female scare witch doctors. <laughs> Just leave the rust right where it's at, huh? What I said still goes. We blow the inspection. Ah, oh, jeez. Skip, just let me get a chance to get close to a day. Quiet, you bells, rats. And remember this. Until this inspection's over, I'm running a tight ship. And a dirty ship. <laughs> You heard the skipper groove. Drop it. Yeah, it's too warm for a mutiny. Hey, look, guys, I don't know what's with the skipper, but this time he's way off base. I tell you, I saw this newspaper gal, and my baby blues are 20-20. Yeah, well, I wonder why he gave us a bum steer. Who knows? He must have her mixed up with three other dames. Take it from me, you'll be kissing my toes when you see her. You say she's really a dish, huh? Like Betty Graber with a little Rita Hayward thrown in upstairs. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know... There's more than one way to skin an eager beaver. Well, what do you mean? If we can't polish up our boat, then there's only one thing left to do. Louse up Carpenter and his bunch. Hey, you free yeah. <laughs> Willie, go out and promote a bucket of lamp black. <laughs> Half that. Get a lot of lard. We're going to need it. Okay. Burge, you and Fooch come with me. I know where the 116 boys get their laundry done. What do we do there? Sabotage. Awesome. You can say that again. Let's go. <laughs> Lalani kissed better since last lesson. I think you go right to the head of the class. <laughs> go, samurai. Help! Man escaping! <laughs> There's no war. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Sorry, madam. Fortune's a war. <laughs> Lieutenant Carpenter need these for big inspection tomorrow. Nice of you boys to help. What else can we do? Hey, you there. Put in more starch. And don't try anything funny. I got your cover. <laughs> Banzai! Too much starch! Nonsense. Nothing's too good for Carpenter's group. Uh, time for another lesson, honey. <laughs> Well, Mikhail, I must say your boat is in fine shape. For a garbage gal, for a PT boat, it's a disgrace. An absolute disgrace. Yes, sir. Cut the dog, Carpenter. Oh, Mikhail, you might as well go with us. I'd like to have you see what a boat that's part of our Navy looks like. I am certain Edson Burns will have everything ship shape, sir. <laughs> I don't know why I'm bothering to inspect the 116 at all. It's obviously no contest. Well, so those are the brakes. I'm sure Miss Brent will enjoy herself aboard our boat, sir. That is, of course, if we win the inspection, which I am sure... <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> is this your idea of some sort of a joke? No, sir. I don't understand it, sir. Really, I don't. Mister, tell me just what is going on here. I don't know, sir. This is the way the uniforms came back from the laundry. We had nothing else to put on. <laughs> well, let's get on with it. Get out of my way. Lieutenant, 
I don't know what's going on here, but I intend to get to the bottom of it. <laughs> I could just scream. Hey, get a load of that. What a dish. Rube's right, she's gorgeous. Ba 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 boom. Happy handless. Hiya, beautiful. Welcome aboard. Just uh, consider this your home away from home. I'd like to speak to Commander McHale. Please. Yeah, hey, uh, Hap, get the skip. Okay. Take us the name. Uh, if you'll uh, step right this way. Ooh. Ba 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 boom. I show you around. She's here, Skip. That newspaper lady. Well, you guys asked for it. I bet you're sorry you didn't listen to me now. Hey, Skip, you gotta get yourself a pair of specs. She's a dream walking. A dream? <laughs> Not the Patricia Brent I know. Well, look for yourself. <laughs> oh, my. That ain't Tinker. <laughs> This, dear lady, is where I keep my torpedoes. Our torpedoes. My torpedoes. <laughs> Commander McHale? Uh, that's right, that's right. I'm from the Office of War Information, Carol Kimberly. Office of War Information, Carol. How do you do, Miss Kimberly? Hey, that is the name Gruber said. I don't know it. I hope it won't be too inconvenient for you having a woman on your boat. Oh, no, no. Uh, we can put your stuff downstairs and uh, you can have my bed. I can sleep on the floor. Uh, deck. That's Navy talk. I won't be coming with you. Oh? Uh, no, I just brought Miss Brent down. Oh. Hey, is there somebody going to give me a hand with this stuff? Hey, you there, be careful. Those are cameras, not coconuts. <laughs> hey, you man, come on, give Gruber a hand with Miss Brent's gear. Miss Patricia Brent. That's Patricia Brent? Quinn McHale. Oh, well, they're really scraping the bottom of the barrel when they put an old tramp ship captain like you on one of these seagoing firecrackers. <laughs> Thank you, Patricia. Gruber, have you met Miss Brent? This is the Miss Patricia Brent I was telling you about. I've uh, had the pleasure. Quinn, I want to tell you right now. I'll need a room with running water to develop my film, complete freedom of action, and the galley to myself. I'm up to here with Navy cooking. Oh. oh, I'm sure Commander McHale will give you his fullest cooperation, won't you, Commander? Oh, of course. Oh, gosh. of course he will. Captain Binghamton made a point of it. All right, you men, get those things aboard, and then get the rest of my luggage from the Jeep. Well, don't just stand there. I've got a deadline to meet. <laughs> you men get my gear and be careful come on look will you cover up your positively indecent how about using those buttons huh would you tuck your shirt in oh what is this a pt base or a burlesque show uh, patricia uh, maybe you prefer to do your story on some other crew you know uh, uh let lieutenant carpenter has a much needed oh outfit. no you're not going to get rid of me that fast now uh where can i set up my dark room well, we thought we'd uh, set up a tent for you and... Uh... A tent? Forget it. That shanty over there doesn't look too seedy. I'll just move in there. Hey, oh, 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 oh. That's my hut. Thanks, Quentin. I'll tell Captain Binghamton you've been most gracious. <laughs> Thanks, Quentin. Who right like them? Make sure my hut's kept. <laughs> we had to listen to you. Okay, okay, so I made a little mistake. A little oh. mistake, huh? You promised to Smith's America, we wind up with the Bride of Frankenstein. And even he wouldn't marry her. She's a beast. What a drag. Hey, let's go talk to the skiff. It's a good idea, Willie. Hey, Skipper, you've got to get us out of this. Yeah, yeah. Get rid of that. Give us a break. Yeah, uh, yeah, give us a break. you got to get us out of this. Or I'll let you guys stew in your own pot just to teach you a lesson. But I don't deserve that kind of punishment. Well, it's Gruber's fault. Yeah, yeah. You got a plan, Skip? Come here, you eight balls. Now, 
Our guest came right to the boat from the plane, huh? Yeah. yeah. So uh, that means that Coppiner and his crew didn't see her. Am I right? Yeah. Now we gotta make sure that they don't see her. So, Tinker, this afternoon, you and uh, Willie uh, take her for a ride, say, up, uh, up past the fishing village. In the jeep? In a jeep. In a canoe. Oh, so you want us to drown her? <laughs> well, not unless it's absolutely necessary. <laughs> this. Up around the next bend, there's a dandy clump of palms. Might be some Jap snipers in them, so keep your camera handy. Look, sailor, you've kept me out in this wooden bathtub all afternoon, and so far all I've shot are happy natives fishing, happy natives swimming, and happy natives in their happy huts. Don't you like happy natives, ma'am? I'm set out here to do a war story on PT boats, remember? Where's the action? Where's the Japanese Navy? What's the matter with you sailors? It's the 116, Carpenter's boat. If they see how the skipper's plan is shot. Isn't that a PT boat? Sure, it's the 116. I don't see anything. Lots of sailors, and I use the term loosely. Paddle this thing closer so I can get a few shots. This may be as close as I get to any action at all. Hey, do you hear that, Tink? She wants some action. Ma'am, I'd show you how we'd operate if that was the enemy. Duck! Hey, what's going on? Ahoy the canoe! You need a hand! Negative, just cooling off, huh? Hey! Hey, you on the PT boat! Save me from these idiots! I want to go back to the main base immediately! Brent ought to be safely out of the way. So from here on in, everything's got to go like clockwork. Right. Skip. Synchronize our watches. What for? Look, all you have to do is to walk in through that door with uh, that OWI gal, Carol Kimberly, in exactly 15 minutes from now. Check. We let Carpenter think it's Miss Brent. Right, right. Hey, Skip. It's kind of sneaky, isn't it? <laughs> Just you make sure, no matter what, that you don't come over to us. Or the whole plot blows up. Right. Got it? Okay. Zero hour is precisely 16 talk to me at all. After 16 months, the first beautiful blonde comes by and uh, what happens? You louse up my inspection, that's what happens. Lieutenant Cobb, Elroy, you don't think that I... Well, I thought you knew me better. Well, I was just a couple of rotten apples in my crew. Oh, thanks. Come on, Elroy. Buddy. Come on. Well... Uh, you're a big man, Elroy. Yes, sir. You're a real pal for drinking with me. <laughs> well, when you come right down to it, Quint. Quint? Quint? Quint's the name? <laughs> Women are just like torpedoes. You've seen one of them, you've seen them all. Well, uh, you wouldn't say that, old buddy, if you'd seen Miss Brett. She is without a doubt that... Oh! Hi, well, we'll see you kitties back at the boat. <laughs> is that for a torpedo? <laughs> we, huh? Wasn't that gorgeous? <laughs> Now do you see why it's going to be so hard for me to give her up? Oh, sure. How Give her up? What do you mean? Well, surely you didn't think I'd let my crew keep her after the way they got her. No, sir. Oh, no. Not this boy. I don't understand. Did you ask me to drop into the club for a drink, or didn't you? W well, yeah, but I just remembered. Uh, I got a little something back in my quarters. I thought maybe we could have a little hooker sherry. Just you and I. Yes. You wouldn't. Yeah, you're right, I wouldn't. Let's go back inside and at least be polite. Polite? Oh, boy, you don't know Commander McHale. No, and he gets mad. Oh, no, you're coming with me, baby, and that's it. 
Whoop. Ten trip. <laughs> What's going on here, mister? What? 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 Be bothering you, my dear? Oh, oh, no. No, Captain. As a matter of fact, we were just going inside to have a drink. Well, weren't we, Ensign? Yeah. We were? <laughs> yes, we were. It's just on our way. <laughs> hey, that's a bully idea. Why don't we all take a little time out for a martini break? <laughs> yeah, my feet. Oh, uh, <laughs> say, have you seen the movie? <laughs> uh, uh, Want to go down the PX and look at cameras? <laughs> We, we could all, uh... Oh, shut up. But I still don't understand don't why you... you see, if I let my men get away with a thing like this, it would mean the end of all discipline on my boat. No, Roy. I beg of you. You've got to take her. Well, I'd sure like to help you out, Quint, but... What would Captain Binghamton say? Oh, nothing. I just tell him I suddenly developed engine trouble and... Holy Toledo. <laughs> Captain Binghamton, sir... Oh, uh, greetings, Captain McHale. Put the beers away, boys. It's martini time. The drinks are on me. Oh. It certainly is a pleasure to finally meet you, Miss Brent. Uh, nice to get off for Captain, but this round's on me. Uh, bartender, take the orders. Oh, I'm not Miss Brent. No, I'm, I'm Carol Kimberly. Bartender, can't you snap it up? Can't you see these people are thirsty? Double. <laughs> you mean you're not Patricia Brent? Oh, of course she isn't. Well, what do you know? Yeah, you're both right. Peepers must be giving out on me, yes. What's going on here? That's what I'd like to know, sir, because Commander McHale here has been trying to pass off Miss Kimberly as Patricia Brent. Oh, now, wait a minute, Captain. Hold on. Yeah. Do you have any elderberry wine? Yes, give me some elderberry wine. Yeah, a lemon in it. Hold your tongue, Mikhail. <laughs> Miss Brent is one of our leading correspondents. Yes, sir. She visits us directly on orders from the Pentagon. Now, if anything has happened to her, so help me, Nimitz. Oh, no, 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 just relax, Captain. Uh, two of my men have Miss Brent out uh, taking photographs, and I guarantee you she's just fine. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> if you don't believe him, just ask her. There she is. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Brent? I told you I had engine trouble. Miss <laughs> Brent, what happened to you? Oh, Miss Brent, are you all right? Patricia, you been for a swim? You know perfectly well where I've been. Two of his men tried to drown me. Well, you told him not to do that unless it was absolutely... Well, <laughs> you've pulled some dastardly deeds in your day. Oh? Yes, but this is the absolute Saturday end. I'll have the charge forms drawn and a court-martial put together before you can say Leavenworth. You can forget the court-martial, Captain. I figured out a much better punishment for our dear commander. Oh? You're not getting rid of me this easily, Mikhail. Instead of one week, I'm going to be here for two. Two? You heard me, and on your boat. So I'm going to be here at 0700 tomorrow morning and be prepared. Our battle has just begun. A shoot! Isn't I... Well, I just got this back in the laundry. Now, if you'll come with me, I'll get you into some dry things. I can just scream. Can't we clobber him just once? Ah, stow it. Stow it. What's the matter with you guys? Knock it off. Hey, here it comes. Let's not laugh out loud. We don't want to hurt Miss Brent's feelings. <laughs> All right. She's coming. So you stand by and take your punishment like men. Hello, Pat. <laughs> Miss Kimberly. Well, what are you doing here? Where, where's the monster? I, mean, Miss Brent. I just came from the infirmary. Miss Brent caught a terrible cold from that dunking she took yesterday. Oh, that, that means the magazine story's off, huh? Oh, no, no. She insisted on completing the assignment, uh, so she asked me to pinch it for her. Robert, would you take my luggage aboard the 73? Luggage? Luggage? Luggage! <laughs> Have that little drink, I promise you. Now. <laughs> Lieutenant Cop Elroy, you don't think that I? Well, I thought you knew me better. Well, we're just a couple of rotten apples in my crew. Uh, thanks. Come on, Elroy, buddy. Come on. Well, 
<laughs> You're a big man, Elroy. <sighs> yes, sir. You're a real pal for drinking with me. <laughs> well, when you come right down to it, Quint. Quint? Quint? Quint's the name? <laughs> Women are just like torpedoes. You've seen one of them, you've seen them all. Uh, you wouldn't say that, old buddy, if you'd seen Miss Brett. She is without a doubt. That... Oh, hi, we'll, we'll see you kitties back at the boat. <laughs> is that for a torpedo? <laughs> well, we, huh? Wasn't that gorgeous? <laughs> now do you see why it's going to be so hard for me to give her up? Oh, sure, how Give her up? What do you mean? Well, surely you didn't think I'd let my crew keep her after the way they got her. No, sir. Oh, no. Not this boy. I don't understand. Did you ask me to drop into the club for a drink, or didn't you? Well, yeah, but I just remembered. Uh, I got a little something back in my quarters. I thought maybe we could have a little hooker sherry. Just you and I. Yes. You wouldn't. Yeah, you're right, I wouldn't. Let's go back inside and at least be polite. Polite? Oh, boy, you don't know Commander McHale. No, and he gets mad. Oh, no, you're coming with me, baby, and that's it. Whoop, can trip! What's going on here, mister? What, what, what? Is he bothering you, my dear? Oh, oh, no, no, Captain. As a matter of fact, we were just going inside to have a drink. Weren't we, Ansel? Yeah, we were? <laughs> Yes, we were. It's just on our way. Hey, that's a bully idea. Why don't we all take a little time out for a martini break? Yeah, my treat. Oh, uh, say, have you seen the movie? Uh, uh, Want to go down the PX and look at cameras? We, we could all... Uh... Oh, shut up. But I still don't understand but why don't you... you see, if I let my men get away with a thing like this, it would mean the end of all discipline on my boat. Now, boy, I beg of you, you've got to take her. Well, I'd sure like to help you out, Quint, but what would Captain Binghamton say? Oh, nothing. I just tell him I suddenly developed engine trouble and... Holy Toledo. <laughs> Captain Binghamton, sir! Oh, uh, greetings, Captain McHale. Put the beers away, boys. It's martini time. The drinks are on me. Oh. <laughs> it certainly is a pleasure to finally meet you, Miss Brent. Uh, nice to get off, Captain, but this round's on me. Uh, about time to take the orders. Oh, I'm not Miss Brent. No, I'm, I'm Carol Kimberly. Bartender, can't you snap it up? Let like, can't see these people are thirsty. Double. <laughs> you mean you're not Patricia Brent? No, of course she isn't. Well, what do you know? Yeah, you're both right. People must be giving out on me. Yes. What's going on here? Oh, boy, you don't know Commander McHale. No, and he gets mad. Oh, no, you're coming with me, baby, and that's it. Whoop, can't trap! What's going on here, mister? What, what, what? Is he bothering you, my dear? Oh, oh, no, no, Captain. As a matter of fact, we were just going inside to have a drink. Weren't we, Ansel? Yeah. We were? <laughs> yes, we were. It's just on our way. Hey, that's a bully idea. Why don't we all take a little time out for a martini break? Yeah, my treat. Oh, uh, say, have you seen the movie? Uh, uh, Want to go down the PX and look at cameras? <laughs> We, we could all, uh... Oh, shut up. But I still don't understand don't why you... you see, if I let my men get away with a thing like this, it would mean the end of all discipline on my boat. Now, boy, I beg of you, you've got to take her. Well, I'd sure like to help you out, Quint, but what would Captain Binghamton say? Oh, nothing. I just tell him I suddenly developed engine trouble and... Holy Toledo. <laughs> Captain Binghamton, sir... Oh, uh, greetings, Captain McHale. Put the beers away, boys. It's martini time. The drinks are on me. Oh. It certainly is a pleasure to finally meet you, Miss Brent. Uh, nice to get off, Captain, but this round's on me. Uh, bartender, take the orders. Oh, I'm not Miss Brent. No, I'm, I'm Carol Kimberly. Bartender, can't you snap it up? I can't see these people are thirsty. Double. <laughs> you mean you're not Patricia Brent? Oh, of course she isn't. Well, what do you know? Yeah, you're both right. People must be giving out on me. Yes. What's going on here? That's what I'd like to know, sir, because Commander McHale here has been trying to pass off Miss Kimberly as Patricia Brent. Oh, now, wait a minute, Captain. Hold on. Yeah. Do you have any elderberry wine? Yes, give me some elderberry wine. I have a whole twist of lemon in it. Jason, <laughs> hold your tongue, McHale. <laughs> Miss Brent is one of our leading correspondents. Yes, sir. She visits us directly on orders from the Pentagon. Now, if anything has happened to her, so help me, Nimitz, i Oh, no, no, just relax, Captain. Uh, two of my men have Miss Brent out uh, taking photographs, and I guarantee you she's just fine. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> if you don't believe him, just ask her. There she is. <laughs> Miss 
this, Brent? I told you I had engine trouble. <laughs> Brent, what happened to you? Oh, Miss Brett, are you all right? Patricia, you been for a swim? You know perfectly well where I've been. Two of his men tried to drown me. Well, you told him not to do that unless it was absolutely... <laughs> now, you've pulled some dastardly deeds in your day. Oh? Yes, but this is the absolute Saturday end. I'll have the charge forms drawn and a court-martial put together before you can say Leavenworth. You can forget the court-martial, Captain. I figured out a much better punishment for our dear commander. Oh? You're not getting rid of me this easily, Mikhail. Instead of one week, I'm going to be here for two. He's Navy, what's the matter with you sailors? It's the 116, Carpenter's boat. If they see her, the skipper's plan is shot. Isn't that a PT boat? Sure, it's the 116. I don't see anything. Look, sailors, and I use the term loosely. Paddle this thing closer so I can get a few shots. This may be as close as I get to any action at all. Hey, do you hear that, Tink? She wants some action. Ma'am, I'd show you how we'd operate if that was the enemy. Duck! Hey, what's going on here? Oh, Ahoy the canoe! You need a hand? Negative, just cooling off. Huh? Hey! Hey, you and the PT boat! Save me from these idiots! I want to go back to the main base immediately! Okay, Chuck. Now, Miss Brent ought to be safely out of the way. So from here on in, everything's got to go like clockwork. Right. Skip. Synchronize our watches. What for? Look, all you have to do is to walk in through that door with uh, that OWI gal, Carol Kimberly, in exactly 15 minutes from now. Check. And we let Carpenter think it's Miss Brent. Right, right. Hey, Skip. It's kind of sneaky, isn't it? <laughs> Just you make sure, no matter what, that you don't come over to us or the whole plot blows up. Right. You got it? Okay. Zero hour is precisely 1610. Over and out. <laughs> talk to me at all. After 16 months, the first beautiful blonde comes by and uh, what happens? You louse up my inspection, that's what happens. <laughs> Lieutenant Cobb, Elroy, you don't think that I... Well, I thought you knew me better. Well, we're just a couple of rotten apples in my crew. Uh, thanks. Come on, Elroy. Buddy. Come on. Well... Uh, you're a big man, Elroy. Yes, sir. You're a real pal for drinking with me. <laughs> well, when you come right down to it, Quint. Quint? Quint's, Quint's the name? <laughs> Women are just like torpedoes. You... All right, you men, get my gear and be careful. Come on. Look, will you cover up your positively indecent? How about using those buttons, huh? Would you tuck your shirt in? Oh! What is this, a PT base or a burlesque show? <laughs> Patricia... <laughs> Uh, maybe you prefer to do your story on some other crew, you know, uh, uh, let Lieutenant Carpenter has a much needed. Oh, outfit. no, you're not going to get rid of me that fast. Now, uh, where can I set up my dark room? Well, we thought we'd uh, set up a tent for you and... Uh... A tent? Forget it. That shaddy over there doesn't look too seedy. I'll just move in there. Hey, oh, 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 that's my hut. Thanks, Quentin. I'll tell Captain Binghamton you've been most gracious. <laughs> Thanks, Quinn. Who I to lick them? Can I share my hut, Skip? <laughs> we had to listen to you. Okay, okay, so I made a little mistake. A little oh. mistake, huh? You promised to dismiss America, we wind up with the bride of Frankenstein. And even he wouldn't marry her. She's a beast. What a drag. Hey, let's go talk to the Skip. Yeah. It's a good idea, Willie. Hey, Skipper, you gotta get us out of this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get rid of that. give us a break. Yeah, uh, yeah, give us a break. You gotta get us out of this. 
or I'd let you guys stew in your own pot just to teach you a lesson. But I don't deserve that kind of punishment. Well, it's Gruber's fault. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, it. oh, you got a plan, Skip? Come here, you eight balls. Now, our guest came right to the boat from the plane, huh? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So uh, that means that Coppiner and his crew didn't see her. Am I right? Yeah. yeah. Now, we got to make sure that they don't see her. So, Tinker, this afternoon, you and uh, Willie uh, take her for a ride, say, up uh, up past the fishing village. In the jeep? In the jeep. In a canoe. Oh, so you want us to drown her? <laughs> well, not unless it's absolutely necessary. <laughs> this. Up around the next bend, there's a dandy clump of palms. Might be some Jap snipers in them, so keep your camera handy. Look, sailor, you've kept me out in this wooden bathtub all afternoon, and so far all I've shot are happy natives fishing, happy natives swimming, and happy natives in their happy huts. Don't you like happy natives, ma'am? <laughs> set out here to do a war story on PT boats, remember? Where's the action? Where's the Japanese Navy? What's the matter with you sailors? One sixteen, Carpenter's boat. If they see her, the skipper's plan is shot. Isn't that a PT boat? Sure, it's a one sixteen. I don't see anything. Look, sailors, and I use the term loosely. Paddle this thing closer so I can get a few shots. This may be as close as I get to any action at all. Hey, do you hear that, Tink? She wants some action. Yeah, get a lot of lives. We're gonna need it. Okay. Burge, you and Fooch come with me. I know where the one sixteen boys get their laundry done. What do we do there? Sabotage. Awesome. You can say that again. Let's go. Lalani kissed better since last lesson. I think you go right to the head of the class. <laughs> go, samurai. Help! Man escaping! There's an old war. Hey, sailor, lie your hands. Right? Sorry, madam. Fortune's a war. <laughs> Lieutenant Carpenter need these for big inspection tomorrow. Nice of you boys to help. What else can we do? Hey, you there. Put in more starch. And don't try anything funny. I got your cover. <laughs> Banzai! Too much starch! Nonsense. Nothing's too good for Carpenter's group. <laughs> Time for another lesson, honey. <laughs> Get your hands off me. Well, Mikhail, I must say your boat is in fine shape. For a garbage gal, for a PT boat, it's a disgrace. An absolute disgrace. Yes, sir. Not the dog carpenter. Oh, Mikhail. You might as well go with us. I'd like to have you see what a boat that's part of our Navy looks like. I am certain Edson Burns will have everything ship sir. Mm. <laughs> Mikhail, I don't know why I'm bothering to inspect the 116 at all. It's obviously no contest. Well, sir, those are the brakes. I'm sure Miss Brent will enjoy herself aboard our boat, sir. That is, of course, if we win the inspection, which I am sure... Is this your idea of some sort of a joke? No, sir. I don't understand it, sir. Really, I don't. Mister, tell me just what is going on here. I don't know, sir. This is the way the uniforms came back from the laundry. We had nothing else to put on. <laughs> Well, let's get on with it. Get out of my way. <laughs> well, Tenet, I don't know what's going on here, but I intend to get to the bottom of it. <laughs> now... Our guest came right to the boat from the plane, huh? Yeah. So uh, that means that Coppiner and his crew didn't see her. Am I right? Yeah. Now, we got to make sure that they don't see her. So, Tinker, 
this afternoon, you and uh, Willie uh, take her for a ride, say, up, uh, up past the fishing village. In the jeep? In the jeep. In a canoe! Oh, so you want us to drown her? <laughs> well, not unless it's absolutely necessary. <laughs> this up around the next bend there's a dandy clump of palms might be some jap snipers in them so keep your camera handy look sailor you've kept me out in this wooden bathtub all afternoon and so far all i've shot are happy natives fishing happy natives swimming and happy natives in their happy huts don't you like happy natives ma'am <laughs> set out here to do a war story on pt boats remember where's the action where's the japanese navy what's the matter with you sailors One sixteen, Carpenter's boat. If they see how the skipper's plan is shot. Isn't that a PT boat? Sure, it's a one sixteen. I don't see anything. Lots of sailors, and I use the term loosely. Paddle this thing closer so I can get a few shots. This may be as close as I get to any action at all. Hey, do you hear that, Tink? She wants some action. Ma'am, I'd show you how we'd operate if that was the enemy. Duck! Hey, what's going on here? Oh. Ahoy the canoe! You need a hand! Negative, just cooling off. Huh? Hey! Hey, you and the PT boat! Save me from these idiots! I'm gonna go back to the main base immediately! Brent ought to be safely out of the way. So from here on in, everything's got to go like clockwork. Right. Skip. Synchronize our watches. What for? Look, all you have to do is to walk in through that door with uh, that OWI gal, Carol Kimberly, in exactly 15 minutes from now. Check. And we let Carpenter think it's Miss Brent. Right, right. Hey, Skip. It's kind of sneaky, isn't it? <laughs> Just you make sure, no matter what, that you don't come over to us or the whole plot blows up. Right. You got it? Okay. Zero hour is precisely 16.10. Over and out. 